We are on the Harrisonburg Road in Wheeling, Louisiana. This road was a wagon trail that connected the Natchez Trace to the El Camino Real, which allowed travelers to cross central Louisiana to the western frontier in the 1800s. This section of the road along the border of Grant and Wynn parishes is also where the notorious West Kimbrell gang robbed and murdered travelers in the years following the Civil War. In the daytime, they were known as outstanding citizens of their local communities and were able to disguise that their true identity of mass murderers lay under wraps, and they would prey upon these victims after dark. After the Civil War, Louisiana was torn in their loyalties and visions of the future. During Reconstruction, the state was plunged into starvation, disease, and death. When the state became a part of the United States, some people welcomed peace building, while others strongly resisted any show of reconciliation and sought perceived justice for Confederate deaths. Some of these people would advocate white supremacy and the need for social control. Others would decide to take things to a whole different level. In Wynn Parish, a group of men would assemble and form a group bent on home defense. In their minds, they served as regulators that sought to control the behavior of recently freed slaves and oppress union officials and sympathizers. Before long, some elements of the group turned to banditry and murder, terrorizing North, Central, and West Louisiana for years and were known as the West Kimbrell Gang after their founders, John West and Lawson Laws Kimbrell. Locally, this gang was more ominously referred to as the Night Riders. These outlaws preyed on lonely travelers and families moving west after the war. Many people were displaced and forced to seek opportunities out west and would cross the Mississippi River at Natchez and continue their journey in Louisiana along the Harrisonburg Road. Most were headed to Texas or further points west with all of their earthly belongings. On that trail, possibly as many as hundreds of travelers were robbed and murdered. Victims are said to have been tossed into the wells along Harrisonburg Road. Cross-country travelers were easy targets, since their disappearances might not have been noticed for months. Now, to make things even worse, the government under Union control was in disarray, and the gang had a ton of pull in the area. Arrest warrants were issued for various gang members, but local authorities had difficulty apprehending them, either through indifference, fear, or just the outlaw's power. The Knight Riders were Louisiana's most notorious outlaws during the Reconstruction era, and their reign of terror didn't end until Easter Sunday in April 1870 in the small town of Atlanta, Louisiana. Local citizens confronted the bandits, killing all but one. Laws Kimbrough escaped, only to be hanged for murder in Texas in 1873. The Grant Parish Preservation Board and Grant Parish Public Planning Commission approved and installed a historical marker at the intersection of Louisiana Highway 500 and US 167 in Pacton. The marker is placed on the border of Grant and Wynn Parishes near the Harrisonburg Road. We couldn't bring you this information without your support on Patreon, and we'd like to thank those who have contributed and encourage anyone watching this video to consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash louisianadread. Drive around the Harrisonburg Road and learn more about the victims. If for more Louisiana history, horror, folklore, and culture, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Kyle Crosby, and this is Louisiana Dread Quick History.